Try to go back hard. Go. Try. Faster, harder. That's it. Nine, nine. Come on. Ten. Come on, come on, come on. Nine, five. Five seconds. Work for five. Work for five. is Chinyelu Bessem Asher. I am a midfielder. I play for the Jamaican national team and this is my year of self-mastery. So what does the year of self-mastery mean to me? And and who has a mas mastery of, of themselves besides like the Dalai Lama or like Siddhartha or you know like the people who are literally like levitating like off the ground. <laughs> um, I think everyone is in a building phase. Sometimes it's like moving more, you know, it's more acceler accelerated or you know maybe it's a little bit pause. But you know everyone is everyone's story is growing. The whole self mastery coin came about me setting an intention for my year and wanting to explore all of like the crevices of who I am and understanding, embracing, being grateful for all the things, all the strengths, all the weaknesses, all the flaws, all the goods and the bads of, of who and what I am. But you know, I've never been super loud and proud about my character. And I think, you know, fear kind of played into that. I think maybe I didn't really understand myself enough to be loud about it and to show my enthusiasm and show my pride um, of who I am because I didn't know what I was. And so that's kind of what this year is about for me. My name, Chinyalu, it's, it's a Nigerian name. My mother picked the name because of I guess her experience of um, her experience with me during her pregnancy has two meanings. Um, the first one is probably the one that you'd find if you look it up. It means the gift from God. Her second definition of my name was the one who overcomes all obstacles. And I've always kind of interpreted that and applied that to something that's like predestined and kind of like all the ups and downs, all the obstacles that I've interacted with my entire life and my entire career, um, I kind of had this idea that, you know, I'm destined to surpass them. And I guess the final one, like the largest obstacle, the largest monster, I guess, that I need to slay has been myself. Because everything, you know, from injuries, from transferring, from, you know, being told you're not good enough, from, you know, always being undervalued or, you know, just th this and that, you know, I've, I've always been able to rise above. And this is kind of like what, what I see right now for me um, is like my, my last, I don't even want to call it demon, but like my last hurdle to, to leap over. Um, and it's to work on em embracing myself, knowing myself, mastering my mind and my body, aligning the two and just being really happy and really proud about, you know, the wonderful person that I know I am and not being afraid to say that to myself and to other people. So that's what this year is about for me. And then unleashing that on the field in France in June, definitely. This is a big penalty. Yedith Bailey has come up so big for Panama this tournament. She needs to come up big again to extend the shootout. Dominique Bond flies at a 22-year-old to send Jamaica to France next summer. Jamaica's going to the World Cup. They celebrate in the corner. They make all four penalties. Our group, we people don't even know what we went through. <laughs> what we had to just put on our back and just grind out. Um, like. I, I would say like the most important moment for our qualification was the game against Haiti. Um, and we, we tied that game too. It wasn't easy. It wasn't like a, you know, like a five nothing win or anything. We tied that game two, two and, and we won on, um, on advantage, but arriving at a camp, completely new, completely brand new group of girls. There are about like, at least there are about like five people starting on the field 
that I had never played with. And some people like arrived late too, or arrived at Haiti and didn't even have a chance to kind of come to the camp before. And just coming together and having a really good attitude and really good um, collaborative energy. Um, people from all over the place, you know, we always get asked about, oh, you know, how do you guys mesh, you know, the local girls and the foreign girls and all that stuff. Like, this group is like a microcosm of what it means to come from so many different places. I mean, the Jamaican motto is out of many, one people. So literally coming from all over the place and becoming one and um, walking into an environment like Haiti um, where the stadium's packed. I can't even hear my teammate, let alone my coach. Brand new group of girls, you know, where, where our practice is each game is how we learn. And, and we get better, which is good, but um, just grinding out and just saying, hey, you know, it doesn't matter what it looks like, but we need to make it out this group um, and achieving that. So I think that was like one of the most pivotal moments of the year. And it was one that started the year, which is really good. You know, I'm a very self-critical person. Um, I, I always want to know how I can do better and I always want to do better the next time. Um, but people don't even like realize our potential. And like, maybe we don't even realize it ourselves. but you know, everyone's happy that we qualify for the World Cup, but that's not my goal. You know, like I, and, and my goals are realistic too. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we set a good stage for ourselves. I think we got a lot of buzz. A lot of people are watching what we're doing and I'm very grateful for that and we deserve that um, and more. But it was a really cool experience playing against some of the best players in the world. Um, and those are my favorite stages to play on personally because I can see, hey, you know, like this is the best and, and here I am, you know, matching up against that. You know, what is that going to look like? And walking away and saying, hey, you know, like I'm on that level and I have a right to be here um, is, is like the best feeling for me. My plans and goals leading up to the World Cup. And I like that he asked leading up to it because I haven't even really been thinking about the World Cup, I'm going to be honest. I think I'm, I'm one, really trying to focus on being the present and, um, you know, worry, stress, anxiety, all that stuff, that's all the future. So the present, I have a lot of personal goals for myself. <laughs> I kind of had a rough, little rocky year last year and I felt like I was kind of thrown out of my, my mojo on the field and I kind of lost who I was as a player. I lost, you know, the, some of the joys that I get from being on the ball. For the people who have followed me from when I started at Purdue, I mean, I'm sure you can tell or they can tell that there's something a little bit off. There's like, there's that Chinyalu flair that's not really there that they know should be there. Um, and I feel that. So me going to Norway right now, I'm focusing on just getting my mojo back super, super Austin Power style. Like I'm trying to just reconnect with the ball, with the game and, and, have, and have fun and remind myself of like, I'm, I'm a baller and I'm gonna ball. <laughs> and that's what I want to regenerate and in order to bring that to the World Cup. I think there's a huge side of me that the world hasn't seen or hasn't seen in a while. And I'm, my goal is to, is to bring that back. I'm trying to get more, more greedy as a player. Um, just more like, I don't know, just more raw. Like I'm trying to be more raw on the ball, more raw like in my game, like just, just really about it. And I think me kind of like having like a reignition of this passion and this drive, this like electricity is how I feel. I think that's gonna, I don't know, like maybe I'm not even ready for how that's gonna be because I've never really felt that and applied that to my game. So I'm kinda, I'm just trying to, to make some good things happen personally. For the World Cup, obviously the first task is, is to get out of our group. Um, I'm really, 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 really excited for our, for the, for the group that we drew. I'm not arrogant or cocky about my role on the team. Um, I think we're having a lot of good changes, like some new faces, and I'm really excited to be a part of creating a new level of, of competition on, um, like amongst the squad. And really like my goal is to just show the world uh, like our potential. Like I know, and a lot of people doubt, they, we had a lot of doubters before, but we still have some now. Um, but I'm really excited to show people that like we can play and 
we are a, con a contender. I mean, we're like, we're the dark horse for sure. You know, people love the brand of Jamaica. They love watching us. They love our style. You know, they, they interview us. They just want to talk about music versus like, you know, our journey to get here sometimes. But like, they will know in France that, you know, we're, we're bringing our stuff and, you know, we're, we're not afraid of anybody. It's, this is the year of, of the woman, or it's kind of been the past two years, and like this Women's World Cup, I think will be like right on theme with that, um, and ride that wave. I'm getting chills right now, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, like my freckles feel like they're dancing a little bit underneath my long sleeve. <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah. See, I don't even like think about this often, but whenever I do, I get, I get really like I should go run some 120s right now. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun to watch, and so it's gonna be like an honor to play, um, and I'm gonna be ready for that. <laughs>